Yeah, I heard word around town is a popping now. Hey yo, what is up everybody? We got another Dokkan battle video for you guys. It is the King Hitman and yes, we are in KX, of course. I, I gotta do more videos on my phone now abusing kx I, I don't know how i feel about that all right there we are as you can see we have the movie hero team in front of us versus the cell max event of course, the first two phases are just time for me to explain what I, I got going on, what the point of the video is. Remember, the support memory is active right now. The point of this showcase is to show the new AGL movie hero Goku and Vegeta versus this, you know, the toughest, you know, pretty much the hardest hitting enemy in the game. Like, let's just be honest, bro. If there's an event that it's difficult to mitigate or difficult to do anything it's the Cell Max event, so let's just call him the hardest enemy in the game for now. Just you understand where I'm coming from. So what we're gonna do? Hmm. Okay. I have the transformed version on rotation already. I'm gonna keep them there. Of course, we want them to get hit. We want them to get beat up. All that type of stuff. Godku will be good because I can slip them into slot one whenever I need the protection. These guys will be good because you know once we do get to Cell Max, turn four should have passed already, so we'll be able to take advantage of that right now okay well i guess if anything this is a good measure so they of course have 40 percent damage reduction they'll take double digits yeah i was close it would have been triple digits i was close all right 8.4 million attack stat i like that i this is what i like about i said this during my initial showcase is they are who they are the instant you see like them like whether it be the transform version or the base version it's the only thing that matters after, you know, whether or not they're on rotation with Max Key is the support or the links that are around them. It's not like, say, Cooler, right? And like, oh, and of course, they're additionals. It's not like Cooler, uh, STR Cooler, you know, the RNG has to factor in. <laughs> All right, intro after intro with these guys. All right, so like I was saying, we're gonna keep Carnival. We're gonna keep Carnival Goku here on rotation with them. We need Carnival to get beat up, of course. Well, we kind of, and it's more important. Carnival Goku gets hit. See, so yeah, we want Carnival here. Let's do that i don't know how the str piccolo is gonna tank in this situation 234 211 168 i'm not sure how he's gonna tank because of course the full movie hero team so he'll have his mitigation but it's the little things like is his guard gonna be adequate like i don't know is he gonna be additional supering that would help a lot since you know cell max likes to super in slot three whenever he can so that's gonna be important to his uh how much damage he's gonna take his additionals but with KX, he only has nine additional, just naturally built into him. We're kind of hitting very hard on this rotation. We might advance to sell Max a bit faster than I'd like. I'm hoping they don't one turn this fate. Nah, there's no. Well, when you additional super, he's about to additional. When you additional super, I don't know. Huh. We'll, we'll see in a moment. Okay. Cutting it close, and we want him to take the AoEs, of course. He should be fully built up after this attack, right? After the next, excuse me, the next attack is what I meant. Vegeta and Trunks will be fine. They're one of the one of the only units in the game that can actually handle Cell Max. If not, well, no, because, you know, AGL Golden Freeze, a Tech God Goku can, depending on, especially if he supers first, Tech God Goku can hold up. It's, it's a close game. It's a dangerous game. Let's see. Okay, I think he's fully built up, I think. But of course, with the two LR AGL Goku and Vegeta units, I gotta make sure we at least, oh, I wanna transform, but then they won't link together at all. How do I wanna play this? So right now, as you can see, well, active skills already up. They're linking, let's do, 
Let's keep you on rotation. Just because you'll perform a bit better just by nature. So we'll do... But damn, that mitigation is going to be nice. It would be nice if I could get that mitigation next time we see, like next phase, right? All right, all right. I, I guess we got to roll with it. Honestly, I'm not taking this run way too seriously. I know certain people stress out over, you didn't do this or you could have left this person on rotation. And Relax, bro. I'm having a good time. I just want to see how the units perform. Now, having two of them on one rotation versus cell max is completely unreasonable. We're probably going to die. I can live with that, though. I just want to see how much damage they take. That's the whole point of these videos. Worst comes to worst, I'll run it back. We'll cut right back to here, the tech phase, the final phase, and we'll see how they perform then. We, of course, want to do this. Let me shut up again. Oh my goodness, that aura on when the shell breaks is so fire. It's so fire. So of course we gotta put Vegeta and Trunks there. Let's not be goofy. We at least gotta make it to the next turn, right? Let's do that. Let's do that. Screw it. Alright, now I don't know how the resurrection F blue Vegeta is gonna hold up. I, uh, I <laughs> knew Cell was going to super, but it still always pisses me off just to see it. 456, bro. It, you can't reason with the man. You can't reason with him. Well, is he a man or do we just call him a thing? Uh, He's not really a bio android because he's like a knockoff Cell. Do we just call him a, a, a robot? What do we call him? We call him an android. That's what we're supposed to have called him for the last 30 years. I'm just, I'm late to the party. Okay, thank you for the triple super. I appreciate that. All right, all right. So we're good. The, uh, mind you, oh, of course, Um, the support memory that is activating for Movie Heroes, the only unit on this team that it's not triggering for is Vegeta and Trunks, so they would have taken much less if they did have a support active, but they, of course, are the only unit not on Movie Heroes. Now... The joint forces lead, and they're on a 170-led team. Everybody else, except for Piccolo, is on the 200%er. So Piccolo and Vegeta and Trunks are not on the 200% lead. But this leader skill that the AGL Super Saiyans have, very powerful. Very, very powerful. He's taking double digits. Well, we might die. Oh, I thought he was going to super. Okay, we're taking double digits. That's very impressive. I can appreciate that. <laughs> we're going to die here. We're dead. <laughs> We're going to use their active skill and then we'll just see them die. That animation, I mean, I don't think it's like, you know, a top five active skill animation, but damn it, it looks very, 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 very good. So, let's do that. Defense with support, 368k. We like that. We like that a lot. Now, remember, the reason that their defense is so much higher than their uh, base state is because when you use the active skill, I, it took me a while before I fully understood this. But when you use the active skill on an LR or a TUR or whatever, if they get an additional buff upon being at 24k, the active skill for that moment gives them 24 key. Like during the cutscene, they have 24 key. So if you're confused, they just triggered their 50% attack and defense and the medium chance to crit, even though they will crit on their, uh, well, no, it's not. Oh, wow. It's not a guaranteed crit. I already forgot. So the medium chance to crit will also active activate during the active skill animation. So they're, if that makes sense, it's as if they're already in turn. I hope you guys get what I'm saying. 
I really feel like we're gonna die. We're we're, we're gonna die, and I <laughs> maybe I should have just kept God Corn rotation. I should have. Somebody's gonna stress me out in the comment. Yeah, two hundred k. That's so unfair. So yeah, the thirty percent mitigation is nowhere near one point one. A one point six. Jeez, that's. <laughs> So, no, they're not built for the Cell Max event. I don't think every unit in the game should be built for the Cell Max event, even though I think we actually haven't spoken about it. I think the Cell Max event is one of the, like, more, I don't know, uh, what's the word? I guess maybe I should just say shitty. Like, it's not that it's a bad event. It's just they cut off every possible loophole you could have except either 80% and above mitigation plus defense or 90% mitigation like the, or dodging. Those are the only avenues you have if your name is not Carnival Goku or LR, Vegeta, and Trunks, basically. And then Cooler, if he doesn't take a super. Cooler takes a super. It doesn't matter how many times he supered attacked. If Cooler takes a super, you're dying on that turn. Like, I have yet to see Cooler not die to a Cell Max super. And, you know, he can do it twice anyway. So, like, those handful of units are not going to cover every every point in your team. If Cell Max wants to super twice, 97 times out of 100, you're dead on that turn. He just chooses to kill you. I really don't appreciate this event. Like, I just appreciate the fun. Like, it's just a goof-off event. Like, it's not a serious event. I don't think units should be measured based on how they tank cell max. Unless it's pure defense. I guess that makes sense. Like Vegeta and Trunks, right? You get what I'm saying. Plus guard. You get what I'm saying. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These guys got cracked, but we're just having a good time. It's the young hit, man. The kid is off this.